Hello and welcome back to Can You Beat Fallout New Vegas as a Passive Sneering Imperialist. Uh, we are here at Camp McCarran and this is where we're going to be focusing on this week. Uh, we're going to do almost all of the Camp McCarran quests. Um, so let me go ahead and round them all the quests up and then I will go ahead and show off what quests we're doing. Alright, so we got all the quests that we wanted to get. Um, there's four marked quests and then four unmarked quests. Uh, the four marked quests is one is three card bounty, second is I don't hurt anymore. Uh, third is I put a spell on you, um, and then the other one is the whitewash, which we will get from Carrie Boyd. I'll talk with her later. Um, and then the four unmarked slash five, technically, actually, because we can go do something else that I just thought of, is uh, we have a final plan for Esteban, which is what we're going to do next. Dealing with Contreras, not not worth a hill of, of corn and beans. Poor meat never makes good soup, and then there's like a Ruby Nash cash roll. So what we're going to go do is go to Morales' body, which is actually marked on the map here. I, I've i never had it happen like this because I've always just had the Repcon uh, site. So we have a ranger here. Um, they're going to hopefully help us get the body. Um, so what basically has happened, I think there might be a note, but essentially Private Morales is dead, uh, or his wife, um, Private Morales is or uh, Morales Esteban or whatever I don't know Esteban Morales is dead. His wife, who is a private, wants us to get his body, and they just aren't doing it yet. Here's the NCR troopers, right here. I think we can talk to them. Let's see what's going on. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold up. Where do you think you're going? Uh, I'm going to retrieve the body of Ranger Morales. Sorry, he's a ranger. Christina hired you, huh? Well, if you're gonna go up there, there's a couple things you should know. Esteban's body's in the middle of those buildings up the hill there. Look carefully and you can see the fiends patrolling the rooftops. But they laid traps, too. There's mines all over. So for God's sakes, watch your feet. Get him back here. We'll get him home. Understood. Thanks for the help. <laughs> yeah, this isn't rock and science. <laughs> watch and learn. At least we can do. Wish we could help more. Some fire support would be nice. I might be able to draw them this way. My health is kind of loves. Quit talking to my ranger. I need his help. Alright, so we're just going to sneak on up. We actually might be able to get the robots at the RevCon to help, too. You're out here somewhere. Anybody there? You thought you could hide from me? I'm going to make you scream. Oh, God. Oh, God. They're really messing me up. Oh, they killed this robot. Sounds like my ranger is still fighting. Alright, we gotta run. My follower has died. We're gonna go hang out by the NCR troopers. This is like saving Private Ryan. Where you send six six soldiers to save one, but this soldier is dead already. So, um, you know, kind of a conundrum we're doing here. But, you know, it is his wife asking for him. And the robots were not helpful. Oh, God. So I was just waiting and a fiend came down here. These fiends are actually strong. They're really, really strong. Which is crazy. That takes care of that. Good job. Okay, I think we're gonna do the ranger glitch, I guess, because technically he hasn't talked. Well, we're not. He's. We're doing the ranger glitch. We haven't talked to this guy yet. Sorry, Morales. All right, and we got the note that the corpse was retrieved. I managed to get Ranger Mor Morales' corpse away from the fiends. Should have turned Private Morales and tell her. I will do that. I believe it. Who the hell are you, man? How did you just walk right up and pull him out of there? Uh, with a glitch. I just did what anybody else would have done. Oh, bullshit. What anybody else would have done is get their asses killed. You're leading some kind of charmed life. We'll make sure Ranger Morales' body gets sent back home. You don't have to, you know, pick him up on your shoulder and haul him to California. Even though I believe you would if you had to. You should go tell Private Morales the news. I know she'll be relieved. Will do. 
you know this great nation of the NCR, we, we get our rangers home. We get our rangers home. Even though there's a dead ranger up here. Oh no! That's just Ranger Jackson? Does nobody care about Ranger Jackson? So we will talk to Ranger Morales' wife after we get back to Camp McCarran. So here we're going to do the next stuff for the cook. Um, he has a meat vendor list where he talks about Ruby Nash, Crimson Caravan. So we're going to go run through to these spots. He might try Fritz. He has a small shop with the with a couple other merchants. And then here's this big list of stuff. Um, I might like just have to look up where all of, all of this stuff is. But we'll go ahead and knock this stuff out. Okay, so we're talking to Ruby Nash. We ask, what do you cook? My specialty is a rad scorpion venom casserole. It's more appetizing than it sounds. The venom has a sharp, smoky flavor, and it numbs your mouth so fierce you'll forget you ever had a tongue. It's perfectly safe, long as you don't have sores in your mouth for the venom to find your blood, cause that'll kill you dead. Um, I like some of that rad scorpion casserole. Does sound good, don't it? How many red scorpion glands you got? I don't have any. Guess you'll be. All right, I'll be right back. Um, well, let's let's do this. McCarran's mess hall needs more variety. Could we work out a deal? Well, business is pretty light, and I'd welcome the income, but I'll need a lot of caps to buy the necessary supplies. Two hundred caps would get me started. Um, McCarran ha has more vegetables and water than they know what to do with. Fresh food and water is worth its weight in gold. Let McCarran know they'll have fresh snacks coming in a few days. I'll pick up the produce at that time oh, cool. as well. We already solved that. Um, I do want to try and do the casserole thing, though, real quick. So we'll head to the dry lake and then find some... some. Uh, oh, here. Some rat scorpions. Shoot the rats. Dude. Oh, he doesn't have any on him. What a what a great guy. Okay, we got a bark rat scorpion gland. I hope this works. Oh my god, Ruby Nash is almost dead too. Welcome back. Good to Okay. I think we gotta get real uh real uh real rat scorpion glands. Which luckily there's a ton of rat scorpions down this hill. Why is there just a dead Okay, uh, we'll try this out and see if that works. All right, I have a few rat scorpion glands. Hand them over and I'll get to baking. I have one rat scorpion, okay. We'll wait. Oh, we did get the cash roll, cool. All right, so I think that should pop up a new option. Uh, so next up, what we need to do, I don't know if there's more we can do for the vendor list. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Um, and the pr food processor stuff, which we can find some of this stuff. I don't know. I'll, I'll just go down a list and see if I can find it. Well, I wonder too if I can, I might be able to fix it. I'm gonna look it up. Okay. So we got to go through this whole thing because we need a repair of 80 and I don't think we're, uh, we're at 50. So we're not too far off, but, um, yeah, I, I'll go ahead and start finding some of this stuff. It really shouldn't be too bad. Like lone wolf radio has a bunch of stuff. Um, it's just gonna take me a second to find all of it, but I'm gonna cut all of that out because you don't need to watch it all. All right, so I think I got all the stuff needed for those three quests, uh, the or for the uh, not a hill of corn or whatever to die on or something. Um, so what we're gonna do is three card bounty now, and we're gonna go for uh, the guy who um, uh, the guy that this chick wants to really kill. Right. So we're gonna ask Lieutenant Gorbitz about doing it. Hey man, Major Daughtery said I should talk to you about taking down Driver Nefi. Whatever you need, we'll make sure it gets done. Sounds great. Uh, I need your help to kill what him. What did you have in mind? You thinking of luring him into range of my snipers? Yes. It's one hell of a risk you'd be taking, but if you're willing, we'll do everything we can to keep you alive. All right, let's do Listen, it. Listen, my team is a debt to settle with Nefi. We've seen too many of our boys get brained by that golf club of his. You lure him out for us, and if we can score some payback, we'll all pitch in caps for a reward. Sweet. My team will take up positions around the old rock crushing plant. They'll wait until they see Nefi, and then they'll start shooting. At that cool. point, just keep your head down and stay out of range of his golf club. 
We'll take care of the rest. Get your rifles. All right. So I think there's actually mine, so I should probably run ahead. Um, but it'll be, it's nice. So like the I think with the caps that they give you, if they headshot him, um, it kind of makes up for the fact that you're turning in a mangled head. But um, yeah, we I love taking out raiders, so that's what we're going to go do. Jeez Louise. Was that scripted? That was crazy. Uh-oh. The lieutenant ran into a mine. I almost ran into one, too. Uh, hopefully they're safe here. Um, I should probably defuse some of these mines, just in case. This is pretty cool. Getting them set up for this. This is actually, I I don't really ever do this because it's just like why not just go kill driver in a five? But since I can't kill anyone, Help me out. yeah, not looking good for my ranger. Except my ranger is relatively strong. Here's driver in a five. Oh, good, they kept his head intact too. Sweet, we're just gonna rip that right off, and I'll take his golf club. I love it. This is the power of the NCR, though. You came through for us. I have to admit, I wasn't sure you'd make it. Means a lot letting my team get payback. Here, we all pitched in some caps for you, even Sterling, and he's famous for his tight wallet. Thanks, man. Um, see ya. Carry on. So now I think they go to. I want to say they want to go. Uh, not Camp Golf, uh, Forlorn Hope. That's where they go to next. All right, so let's go talk to Daughtry and get our next bounty. I think we'll do, um, I think we'll do Cook Cook. I don't know where my ranger went. He might have died. I don't, I don't know. But he's actually, like I said, relatively strong. Oh nope, there he is. So let's go get the. We'll go turn this one and then go do Cook Cook. Oh, we can do. Who's little Buster? Bounty hunter talks big, but he's still alive, so he can't be completely full of shit. I think he's out in the yard waiting to claim a couple bounties. I did not know I could use him. Let's go get him. Unless he... Is he too afraid? I don't remember this. Let me guess. You got work for me, right? Well, you're too late. I just quit the bounty trade. As soon as I pick up some caps that Daughtry owes me, I'm out of this scrap yard. Uh, he asked me... He told me about Cook Cook. The rapist with the flamethrower? Yeah, that's a combination I stay the fuck away from. I was stalking him for a while. Real good at that. Watching people from where they can't see me, you know? Only one thing I learned about that asshole. Keeps a bunch of Brahmins. Most of them he roasts whenever he feels like it. But there's one. Must be his pet or some shit. Doesn't let anybody near that Brahmin. Somebody puts a bullet in her? I bet that piss him off good. Might make him careless, too. Um... All right, so he just tells us about the Brahmin. All right, yeah, he just tells us about the Brahmin. Um, and killing Queenie. I think we can kind of trick him into it. Or we can k trick some of the, one of the fiends into killing Queenie. It's, it's not too difficult. Or we'll just have my ranger kill him. Okay, so let's just run to Queenie and try and get fire on her. Okay, we're almost here. My ranger's fighting a f some fiends that I went right by. So let's go run around Queenie and see if we can get her shot at. Okay, I got him to kill Queenie. Down goes Queenie. All right, let's run away. At least we'll get him weakened for the NCR ranger. There is only one fiend left, and he should probably absolutely obliterate that fiend. But, you know, we did the optional stuff. All right, so we got him frenzied. And we got our other ranger coming in. I did talk to him, though, so he's not immune. But we'll go ahead and proceed. There's no way he survives this. I think I'm going to try and get... See if Cook Cook will follow me. 
So here's Violet's camp over here. I wonder if I can get the dogs or some other enemy to come this way since he is triggered or whatever. That is. Okay, so we got Cook Cook over here. Okay, the dogs don't care. Oh my god, don't die. I think I'm just gonna have to keep running away and getting, uh. I think I'm gonna have to keep running away and getting Rangers. I mean, will he follow me in here? Do you follow? Yep, he does. So I think they're fighting Cook Cook. Oh god. Okay, so what I'm gonna run, do is run back out. Hopefully, Cook Cook will want to stay here and fight people. He did kill some fiends though, which is nice. Oh, his health is going down. I need to get more fiends over here. I don't know which way I want to go to get them to fight each other. Maybe this way, I guess. Cook Cook's health is going down. Oh, I think he got disintegrated. So I'm not going to get his head, but that's all right. That actually worked. Look at all the fiends he killed. He is insane. All right, let's go loot his body. I kind of can't believe that didn't work or that that worked, but yeah, his mangled head, that's fine. All right, let's get out of here. All right, last up we have Violet. Violet it is. Wish I could give you more advice on how to bring her down, but we know less about her than the other two. Just watch out for the dogs. She raises them herself. Might as well be their mother and never leave her side. Uh, where can I find her? Good question. Fiend territory is southeast of here, but they range all over the area. None of them stays in any one place for long. All right, see ya. Just bring me back that last head, and don't lose your own. All right, so we'll fast travel over there. I think my uh, ranger should be able to take them out. I don't think there's anything special you can do with her. Um, who's that? Is that Violet all the way over here? Really? Well, that's convenient. Okay, my armor is really low. Let's see if her head explodes. Oh, it doesn't. Good job. Didn't mean to take everything like that, but... Whatever. Let's go kill these dogs. Because I think she has stuff in her camp that can be helpful, so... I've got one. Anytime now. Okay, I think he's going to die, so I'm just going to go ahead and loot her camp. These dogs are just going to stay over here and hopefully not attack people that walk by all right so we're here to turn in violet's head still working on that last bounty nope here it is if that's true that'd be the last of them god damn it that's violet all right you made me one happy son of a bitch you know that here this is the bounty i put on her head it's yours you've been one hell of a stroke of good luck you know that those three scumbags probably killed 20 ncr troopers and you bring him down alone. Wish I had a few grunts as good as you. Damn good working with you. It's pretty much the Rangers that did it all. All right. Um, right. I'm trying to think. Oh, I definitely want to get repair up because I want to get jury rig up for my armor because that'll be really helpful. Um, next up, we want to do I Don't Hurt Anymore, which I think we picked up. I can't remember. Uh, I Don't Hurt Anymore. Speak with Corporal Betsy, which I believe she's. Yeah, they all went all the way to Camp Forlorn Hope. All right, let's find the Betsy. First I'm naked, by the way. What a pointless trip. Here, I thought I'd get a shot at that junkie bastard. You should get medical help for your trauma. I thought you should know Cook Cook. Let's do this one. I thought you should know Cook Cook is dead. You killed him? Well, shit. Here, I dreamed up this whole elaborate revenge fantasy. Didn't really think I'd do it, but as long as the tubby bastard was actually alive, I could pretend like I would. Here, I owe you. Take it and get out of here, before I indulge my inner bitch and spoil the moment. 
Okay, cool. We yeah. got money from her. Uh, you need help? The lieutenant's been talking to you, hasn't he? Look, I don't need a head doctor. I'm first recon, damn it. You don't see the others crying about every little bruise and scrape, do you? Uh, mental trauma can slow your slow you down or distract you, but it's treatable. Just like any bullet wound. You're a weak link, I know it, you know it, and First Recon knows it, do something about it. Let's go for the Speech 60, obviously we'll get more experience. Damn. Never had you pegged for the drill instructor type, but you got my attention. You can tell the lieutenant that I finally caved. I'll... get help. There's a Dr. Usanagi who's supposed to be good at this sort of thing. Alright. Let's go talk to... Mrs. Usanagi. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up another... Ranger, I did not mean to read that programmer's digest. God dang it. I could reload. It's fine. It's it's whatever. Um Oh, I need to tell Lieutenant Gorbitz. Are you serious? <laughs> That's what I get for assuming. Alright, now we go to Usanagi. I just read the other one. I'm going to end up needing that later on. Uh, Corporal Betsy from First Recon will be coming to you for, for mental treatment. Mental trauma can be just as debilitating as physical injuries. Fortunately, I'm well qualified in such treatment. I'll make time in my schedule. Sweet. Do I need to go? Okay, that's it. That's, that's all we have to do. All right, awesome. So I need armor, so I'm going to go run over to where, to this caravan, um, where this caravan got shot up, pick up some armor, and then we'll go back to Camp McCarran. All right, so we are at Camp McCarran. We need to talk to Captain Curtis, who is in here. Because we're doing I Put a Spell on You. All right, he basically tells us to look around, so that is what we'll do. When we pass through, we will deliver all of the stuff we need to the unmarked quest. So let's talk to Boyd, because she will give us stuff. All right, and she told us about the missing supplies. We'll come back and help her with the interrogation in a second. Uh, where's our current? Investigate the late night brackets. All right, so let's go ahead and talk to the wife of that dead soldier, and then we will also go ahead and talk to the guy who cooks. Hello, ma'am. Did you start looking for Esteban? I guess my directions could have been better. I brought his body to an NCR position. He's on his way back to McCarran. They put him in a box? With a flag and all? I hope so. He'd have been proud. You're too good for this rotten town. First kind thing anybody ever did for me in Esteban. You ever need anything, all you need to do is ask. Thank you so much. I don't think that does anything, but the morale... We got, like, nothing for doing that. No NCR rep, no anything? Uh, okay. I would think you would get something, but... All right, let's go and repair this thing over here. Uh, is it this bad boy? Food processor. Repair the kitchen food processor, yes. I repaired it, sweet. And let's talk to hey, Corporal. Hey, back for seconds, huh? Uh, Miss Nash agreed to trade snacks for vegetables and water. That'll save us some caps and help offload a bit of our overstock. Um, I fixed the food processor. Amazing. I thought that thing was done for. That'll help me transform what I can offer the troops. I'll give you a little extra discount the next time you buy food from me. Thanks again. Can you remind me where I should look for supplies? What do you need to know? Oh, you need to find more meat? To... Oh. We've never really tried, but we really... Where should I look for spices? The Crimson Caravan would probably be able... Hell, we have a whole research department. One guy's even set up in the main terminal building. They're the ones who ought to be looking into it. All right. Looks like I can do more, so I'll, I'll go do that later. Let's do the break-ins right now. All right, so we're here outside. We're going to wait till about 3. And that should be when we find out who's been leaking all the information i mean this part people have done this play this mission so many times because you need it for like one of boone's challenges so that should be close enough which i think between two and three is when you can catch him in the act 
So hopefully my ranger can take him down. I don't know, because I can't. It looks like there's someone up there. Lupa, this is Frumentarius Pikus. Over. Go ahead, Pikus. Afternoon patrol enters Fiend territory at 1300. Have them mind that stretch. 10-4, Pikus. Fiends will be alerted. Roger, Lupa. What's the status of your primary mission, Pikus? Charges are set. Detonation will occur as the train leaves the station. Over. How long? A couple of minutes. Over. 10-4. Keep us updated. 10-4. Okay. Let's confront what him. What are you doing here? You don't have clearance. Uh, I have clearance for catching spies. I don't know what you mean. Hey! Come on. Come on. You've, I think you've missed every single one. Almost there. Come on, dude. Come on. Oh, good job. Oh, good job. Let's take the uh, activation code. Whew. That was that was scary. Let's take the activation code. Go save the day. All right, so we're here at the train. Input the activation code. We successfully defused it. Let's go talk to the colonel. You won't believe it, colonel. We're all impressed with the work you've done. It's a key to a little hideaway south of here. Oh, cool. We got the ranger key. No. We'll be having. All right. So that does I put a spell on you. Obviously gets us some good reputation. So I think the last thing we have to do, well, we have we still have to finish Not Worth a Hill of corn and bean but we have dealing with Contreras and the whitewash and then fighting this guy up here so that's what we'll do now all right so let's go ahead and torture he this guy him. all right so she told us she wants us to be the bad guy no and we'll go ahead and do that in time i realized because i looked it up the poor meat never makes good soup the one where we talked to ruby nash I uh i need to go to vault that's so. 22 for that for the food additive um, so that might take me a second. We might just finish that up next week. How sweet. Because next week is going to be the vault episode where we focused on NCR vault quests. What an ugly little worm you... Alright, so with an intelligence of eight, wow. I'm with the Legion. I'm here to kill you before you talk. You're nothing. You're some inept mercenary the NCR is paying to supplement its own incompetent soldiers. How naive, Silas. Cor corruptio optimi pessimi. Caesar... Sees you as a threat now, dude. I can't. I'm not reading this Latin. <laughs> we are both slaves to Caesar's law, and you are in violation. No, listen. Caesar's secrets are safe with me. I stayed alive because Caesar would have wanted it. I'm useless to him dead. You're a danger to him alive. Your knowledge threatens him. You must have really screwed up to be caught by the NCR. Let's do this. I've told them nothing. They've gotten nowhere. I'm a Centurion, for Christ's sake. I deserve his trust. Caesar's law are absolute. He does not grant exceptions. You have to let this go. I'll disappear. No one will ever see me again. That was always the plan in the first I place. I don't know if I screwed this up, but so in addition to treason, you're also a deserter. No, that's not what I meant. I, Lieutenant, this man is trying to kill me. He's not who you think he is. Cool. I think my ranger might have killed him. Come on, don't leave. All right, that's cool. I've never done the intelligence route because I always I don't I don't go for uh, high intelligence because um, I just I, I never really do. All that shouting, honestly, Celis, you get free room and board. The least you could do is be a good guest. Lieutenant, this man is an agent of the Legion on a mission to kill me. My, we have an active imagination today, don't we? Think about it. Is it worth the risk? You need what I know. Well, it sounds like the two of you are becoming fast friends. It'll be your head if I die, Lieutenant. You'll be disgraced. You know what? I think you're right, Silus. Of course I'm right. Except I don't care, because it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it to never have to hear you say another word, Silus. Carry on. Oh, Lieutenant. sweet. You don't have to do this. You should you shouldn't have done that. I'm the only friend you have right now. You've made your intentions clear. The Legion has abandoned me. 
I've done everything Kaisar ever asked of me, and this is how I am repaid. With assassination, I ambushed countless NCR patrols and wiped them out so that our operatives could move freely. I waited for him to dispatch us for three days, never questioning why the headaches he complained of would hinder his ability to command. I'll listen. I haven't breathed a word about the officer we planted here. He continues to radio intelligence to Kaisar's camp nearly every night. I've proven my loyalty. All you're doing is killing a loyal soldier. If that's Kaisar's policy, then I say his empire will crumble. If his empire falls, it'll probably be because the centurions are gullible. What? What do you mean? What do you think that means? You've been tricked, Silus. I'm working with the NCR. I just got you to talk. No, you slimy bastard. Nothing I've said will change the outcome for you. No force can hold back the tide of the Legion. This camp and everyone in it will burn. Is she coming back? Alright, let's talk to her. You did well. I don't know how you did it without putting a scratch on him. And I'm a little disappointed personally, but it saved the NCR some face. And it could save us more than that when all is said and done. I'm going to talk to some people when we're through here. This is about double the standard fee we'd give a consultant. But from what I saw, you're more of an artist. So think of this as your commission. All right. Um, notice anything suspicious lately? Uh, huh. All right, let's do... Uh, uh, first off, let's keep getting repair up. Um, let's do like 85, because um, we can get skill books. And yeah, let's start. I need to get science and lock pickup, so that's what I'll start doing. Let's just go with toughness. Make us tougher, take more hits. Um, all right, let is, let's go deal with Contreras. All right, so I've never actually dealt with Contreras. I've seen videos about it, um, but I'm going to walk through it just to kind of understand what's going on. So let's talk with him. You look like someone in need of a reliable supplier. Got anything for sale? Take your pick. Okay. Obviously this doesn't tell us anything. Give me a shot if you need anything else. What kind of supplies did you have in mind? Are you implying I have some kind of secret under the table stash I only offer to certain clients because that could get a man in trouble. Uh I can be pretty resourceful. Perhaps we could work out a deal. Now you're talking my language. I do have an expanded inventory for people I can trust. If you're willing to do a little legwork for me, I could give you access to my stash and at a discount. Hmm. Many of these items aren't available in the NCR, and you'll be hard-pressed to find them at a better price anywhere else. Sounds good to me. What do you need done? Well, I can't exactly go wandering off the base whenever I want, you know. They're already suspicious. I can hear the MPs now. Gee, Contreras, I didn't know you had so many friends in the Gunrunners. Speaking of which, guess your first stop. You're just passing a little note to a man named Isaac for me. I want to know which girl he likes. I'll do it. Great. Let me know what he says. They're almost a straight shot north from here, up past the sharecroppers. Remind me where Isaac is. The gun runners are almost. Oh, okay, just straight north. All right. Let's go see if we can tell Carrie Boyd about it. I know there's a terminal that you can kind of find that he's doing all this shady stuff with, but. Ranger, I'm, I'm only doing this just to kind of gain his trust so we can turn him in because um, contraband in the NCR is contraband for a reason, and I trust that. I trust our government to decide what I should and should not be using. I, I don't know. Hey, Isaac, Contreras sent me. McCarran needs a lot more guns and ammo. Shit, is he serious? A 25% increase in weapons is doable, but a 50% increase in ammunition is nuts. Just don't have the supplies on hand to meet that kind of demand for new weapons. Gunrunners are skilled enough to refurbish weapons like new, right? You're overthinking this. You're right. I suppose we could refurbish used and damaged weapons to fill the order. They'll be in like new condition, and then we can use our loader to make fresh ammo and spent brass. We'll have to wait a few days for gunpowder, but this might just work out. Tell Contreras the extra guns and ammo will be in the next shipment. None. All right, let's go back to Contreras. All right, we're with Contreras. So you're back. 
Isaac said they'll have extra guns and ammo in the next shipment. Very professional. I like that. Maybe you can handle something bigger. That's it, a few caps and another errand. You're right. I'm just an under-the-table arms dealer. What could I possibly offer you? A drifting mercenary. Sorry for wasting your time. All right, what's the job? Great. The Crimson Caravan has something ready for me. Look for Blake and let him know you're picking up Contreras' medical supplies. Sounds simple enough. I'll get right on it. Thanks. Don't come back until you have it. Crimson Caravan is just northeast of the Gunrunners. Blake's usually in the main office. Cool. Uh, McCarran needs a regular shipment of Brahmin meat and spices for the mess hall. Oh, okay. Won't be a problem. We have plenty of spice traders working with us back home, and we could get meat from the local Brahmin ranchers. The bigger issue is payment. To supply the camp with meat will cost some serious caps. Uh, give them a deal on the price. You'll have the upper hand in future for more important negotiations. Well, the Fargo traders have been trying to edge us out on the new armor contract for the troops. This could swing things in our favor. All right, let McCarran know they should expect the first shipment in a week or so. Conchera sent me for some medical supplies. Here you go. Let him know he needs to make another payment if he wants more of this stuff. Is there something special about these supplies? Well, painkillers are easy to come by, but it isn't easy finding iodine, allergy meds, and a few of these other items. Why do you ask? Uh, combining those with chemical cleaners would yield strong chemicals. Really? Huh. Never thought of that. The Crimson Caravan isn't really in the drug business. Uh, see ya. Alright, well... Let's go talk to Boyd. I checked with her before we left. Couldn't do anything. Um, so let's go see. All right. Boyd, do you have anything? You're Probably back. not. Yeah. Anyone else missing? Let's do this with Boyd real quick. Yeah. The man I'm more interested in is Corporal White. White had a lot of promise. Wanted to be a ranger as bad as anyone I've seen. But he also had some extracurricular activities going. Now he's gone. I'll see what I can find about Corporal White. Word around the bases, he'd been going regularly to visit a hooker named Dazzle at Gamora. That's a casino on the Strip. Classy place. His belongings are up in the barracks in the concourse building. First bunk on your left if you're facing it from the center. I haven't had a chance to look through his things yet, so that might be a good place to begin. Alright, so we just got the whitewash. Now let's go talk with Contreras again. And maybe I'll, I'll stop by his, his locker, too, since it's kind of on the way. Uh, Corporal White's locker. Corporal White's journal. Misc. Corporal White's journal. I pulled, the, I pulled the log from the East Pump Station computer for the last week. Looking back over the past several weeks, the times are roughly consistent. There's definitely something going on. Water shouldn't even be going over the west side, and yet the log says otherwise. I know I'm on something west side, southern cistern, west side, north, yeah, just gives times. So it kind of gives a hint for him, but we'll deal with that after Contreras. This ranger probably thinks I'm the biggest scumbag. Hey, Contreras. So you're back. Here are the medical supplies from Blake. Hey, these medical supplies look like chem ingredients. Really? I never noticed that. I'm just following orders here, moving supplies as needed. Bullshit, if you're moving drugs, I'm gonna have to report you. Whoa there, kiddo. No need to blow things out of proportion. I'm just selling certain ingredients on the side, not chems. Besides, it's not like drugs are a big deal. Alcohol is just as bad, yet it is perfectly legal in the NCR. I'm just a businessman doing business. The law is the law. I'm doing business with you. I'm done doing business with you. Now see, that's just downright unfriendly of you. I just can't let you go shooting your mouth off to Boyd now, can I? Oh, okay. Are you not going to shoot him? Okay. I'm going to go run away and turn him in. I don't know if that fuck things or what. That may have fucked things over. I have proof Sergeant Contreras is involved in criminal activity. That may be the worst kept secret on the base. I'd be more surprised if you had proof he wasn't involved in criminal activity. But if you have proof, you're the envy of every MP stationed here. What'd you find? He admitted to manuf manufacturing and selling chems. He's trafficking chems? I don't know how he thought he could get away with that. All right, thanks for telling me. I'm gonna have him rounded up. Pretty impressive work there. Wish I could keep you around. 
But for helping me nail this guy, I think you should have a little keepsake. Here. It's not contraband, but I confiscated it from Contreras last week. Because he was being smarmy and I was sick of his bullshit. Alright. I hope he doesn't kill me. We got the machine. We have a lot of unique weapons. So, uh, let's go do the whitewash now. Uh, I want to go over all the unique weapons I have, by the way. It's kind of crazy. Uh, Liberator, Chopper, Nephys. Uh, I picked up the Chopper, obviously. This machine. I guess it's not that many, but... Still pretty cool. Um, I'm just going to carry this machine for aesthetic reasons. Let's go do the whitewash. Alright, so for this quest, we need to go to the strip. We're here with Dazzle. Hey there, sugar. I'm Dazzle. What can I do for you? Or to you? You're so handsome, I might just give you a discount. You ever spend time with a trooper named White? Yeah, he used to come around here a lot. Haven't seen him in a while, though. Why? He's gotten missing. I'm trying to track him down. Any ideas? He used to go on and on about water and the farms east of the Strip. He was talking to one of the farmers named Bascom. Had some problem with NCR. Boring as hell, but it was his money and his time. So I let him talk about whatever. Um, see ya. <laughs> Don't be a stranger. All right, we're here with this farmer. Howdy. Something I could help you with? Corporal White. Yes. He said he was looking into the water shortage, but I haven't heard back from him. Got the feeling he wasn't here in any official way. White was talking to me about computer stuff and water delivery schedules through the pipes, but I'm just a farmer. Tech stuff is beyond me. The last person I saw him talking to was Lieutenant Romanowski. Romanowski's around here somewhere. Sorry I couldn't be more helpful. See ya. The lieutenant's over here. Hey. I'm not a recruitment officer. You want to join the army? I'm sure someone at McCarran can point you in the right direction. I'm looking for Corporal White. Trent told me you can see him. Corporal White is currently solving the mystery of the great water shortage. Tried to convince me he had proof even. I didn't buy any of it. He went over to Westside to talk to Tom Anderson. Anderson's a follower of the apocalypse. Helps the people in Westside grow crops or something. Crops in Westside, the apparent water shortage here can't be a coincidence then. I really don't see the connection. Look, I'm a soldier, not a scientist. I just do my job. Alright. Let's talk about something else. Goodbye. Time to go to Westside. Hey, Anderson. Tom Anderson, can I help you? I, hear, I heard Corporal White came here to investigate a water shortage. No one by that name has come here, I'm afraid. You must have heard wrong. You can ask around if you like. They'll all tell you the same thing. It was e easy to figure out that the NCR water shortage points to you. Save me some time, will you? Fair enough. Since you seem to have pieced it together, I won't insult you by denying it any further. I killed Corporal White to protect Westside's self-reliance. It was rash, and I regret it now. We don't have money to pay for the water, so I rigged a pump station to divert water to the local cisterns from time to time. I'd rather not turn you in. Uh, if I don't turn you in, will you stop stealing NCR? You need to answer for your crime. I'll surrender on one condition. You protect West Side Secret. Without that water, this community won't survive long. I'll say that White and I had a falling out over a woman. A crime of passion, if you will. Um, no, I'm not going to lie for you. Then you leave me no choice. Ranger! Aha. Ranger? Fighting. Where is my ranger at? Okay, I would like my ranger to be with me. Oh god. Okay, he followed me. I guess I'll draw him to, like, Cazadors or something. I don't know. Gee, he really is after me. Good to see you again. Is it? The sword. Uh... 
I hope I didn't glitch this quest. Okay, cool. Did he wipe? He wiped out both of them? How strong is this guy? He's wearing, like, doctor scrubs. Why? Why is he so strong? <laughs> I have never seen this in my life. I think he's just standing over there, so we can probably get some creature to come attack him. Uh, I'm gonna go get my ranger or something and then try and pickpocket him and piss him off. Okay, he's back in west side. Maybe I can get him pissed off again. That's this is the craziest thing. I should have. I mean, I should have saved because I didn't know it would be so broken. That doesn't belong to you. Hey. Good to see you again. I, and I can't shoot him because if I shoot him, it counts as a kill. I don't know how I do this. Maybe get caught stealing? Hey. Ready? You see me? Good to see you again. Yep. See ya. There we go. Anderson's confession. Sweet. Alright. We gained some followers negativity, but I don't... It's whatever. I'm, this isn't a, a followers playthrough. It's a NCR playthrough. Alright, we're back with Boyd. You're back. I've never actually turned in Cor uh, Anderson. Don't tell me. He married the hooker. I wish. He was killed by a man named Anderson. He, got, he caught stealing water from the NCR. Anderson. I've heard of him if it's the same guy. Water nerd from the followers of the apocalypse. Used to handle some of the operations for OSI. I don't know what to think about the followers. The things they do. Hard to say if they're helping or hurting sometimes, especially in Freeside. I'll have to send some people out there to make sure we don't lose any more water. That stuff's like gold out here. But you. I owe you for this. You saved me a lot of work. And I'm sure Corporal White's family will be grateful to at least get some closure. The MPs keep a bunch of junk around that's confiscated off of people who decide to screw with us. I haven't really sorted through it, but go ahead and see if there's anything you can use in there. We keep it in a trunk across the hall, by the prison cells. Alright, see ya. Alright, so that does it for this episode of Can You Beat Fault in New Vegas as a passive sneering imperialist. We did three card bounty, I don't hurt anymore, I put a spell on you, a final plan for Esteban, dealing with Contreras, the Silas treatment, which isn't listed as an NCR quest on the wiki. Um, poor meat makes never makes good soup. I gotta turn in that stuff from Blake, at least, but I think we are... Yes. No, we haven't done that one yet. We've done Not Worth the Hill of Corn and Bean, and we did the Whitewash. So next week we'll finish up Poor Meat Never Makes Good Soup, and we'll be focusing on all the vaults that have to do with the NCR territory. So obviously there's the Vault 22 quest over here. Um, uh, saving some people from Vault 3 with the Fiends, and then we will be going to Vault 34 as well. But that's going to do it for this episode. Let me know if I missed anything other than the stuff that I mentioned. Uh, I'm sorry I got a little bit of follower infamy. Uh, hopefully it doesn't wreck too wreck us too much. I'm gonna I, I am gonna try and get um, affinity with them because they can help the NCR. And then I also want to know what you guys think about um, getting the Enclave to help because essentially what would end up happening is you the story would go is not only do you get the Enclave to come out of hiding, which the NCR can then hunt them down, but you also get them to help save troops and basically use use their soldiers. 
But I, I want to know what you guys think. We're not explicitly told by the NCR to take out the Enclave. So um, I want to know what you guys think of that. But yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. And I hope you have a great day. See you next time.